So, welcome back. Uh, this is just another update video. I do have some really important news. If, of course, like, if you're watching this, it probably doesn't apply to you, which is the not great part about this, but if you need a Chromebook, that is something you can get at Desert Pines now. Um, so, starting today and going until Friday, and I'm assuming it will probably happen next week as well, we just don't know officially know that, you will be able to pick up a Chromebook at Desert Pines High School. Um, I'm going to include the link to this because what you need to do is you actually need to take a short, uh, you need to complete a Google form first before getting your Chromebook, before even going to Desert Pines. Um, that will have a map to where you're supposed to go, and then we'll have some questions like your email, your name, and then you do have to sign um, this short agreement that basically says like, yes, you're going to be responsible for this Chromebook, and you're going to return it at the beginning of the year. So if you need a Chromebook, they are available. You can get them starting today. It'll be 10 to 12.30. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and then we'll see about next week. If you need a Chromebook, if you only have your phone, if you don't have any other thing, please get that. There's also a possibility of getting free Wi-Fi or uh, reduced cost Wi-Fi, and I'll include a link to that as well. So if you need Wi-Fi, if you need a Chromebook, that's absolutely possible at Desert Pines. Please, please do that, because I really want to see more of you guys engaging. I've been loving the poems I've been getting, and we'll do that in just a second. Before we get to that, though, uh, we have to do a shout-out uh, to Imhotep Jimenez Lopez and Nicholas Witten, seventh period representing. Uh, both of them placed third uh, in business plan. I want to get this right, and I think it's business plan competition. Um, and for freshmen, uh, that they got third place. For freshmen, that is apparently unheard of. Uh, so congratulations, Emo and Nick. Well done, you guys. Uh, Emo, not surprised. Nick, you class clown you. You class clown. Um, just really incredible work. They have qualified for nationals. And again, just like unheard of for freshmen at that level. So well done, you guys. Seriously well deserved. I look forward to what you guys can continue to do and represent DP well. Um, so the last thing I'm going to say before the poems is if you haven't seen already, work on unit. I mean, sorry, chapter four. Four identity poems. Remember, it's just a poem. I'm just asking for you to like express them about yourself. Tell me something about yourself. Don't feel stressed out by it. You don't need to, like, have this perfect poem. Just put something out there. You'll be fine. So, without any further ado, I do actually have some poems that were submitted early. Um, I'm going to read a couple of these out. There's, I have several that were submitted early. These are not the best. These are not the greatest. These are just some of them that I picked out, and I'll share some more over the next few days. So this is um, Identity Poem by Joshua Garcia. He gave me permission to say his name, so I'm going to do it. Uh, it goes, and if I read it poorly... My apologies. By the way, if you want to actually record a video of yourself reading your poem, I know we saw those slam poets, so if you want to do that as well, you can submit that video instead of writing it, and I will completely 100% accept that, and if you're okay with it, I'll share that with the class. So, here we go. Joshua Garcia. My words, emotions, traits are like a puzzle with no pieces that connect. Just collect. So confusing, this poem has no effect. My education and family is the reason why I fight. I've never done nothing so right in my whole life. Got me thinking, am I worthy of this year? Am I strong enough to live? To a place that I can't see, is there anything more important than me? Um, this next one, no name. Again, if you want your name out there, just tell me. It's called Presence. Tall and bright, not bad. Never will get sad. Got judged on a lot, don't care because I forgot. Have bad eyesight, for me it's more like spotlight. I'll never quit. If anything, I'll always commit. Many people talk, but don't walk the walk. Like I said, never stop. I'm make others' bodies go chop chop. <laughs> I'm assuming that's not a reference to killing them. But I know it's not. It's a joke. Uh, this next one is really short, but I just I liked the illusion that they use in it. A funny thing about growing up, it seems to take a hundred million years to become an adult. Once you grow up, you sometimes wish to be a kid again. It's like eating your favorite food. You can't wait to eat, then it's gone. As a quote from Garfield, it's like a really good sneeze. So they used really strong hyperbole and really strong allusions there. Well done. Uh, and then this last one from a student who has been a long time. And I'm just so glad that they've submitted in, so I'm just going to spotlight them. This is, when you take one look at me, I may seem tall and tough. But really, if you get to know me, I'm just quite soft. Some people would put me as the disgusting or weird kid when really I just want to make more friends. Some people may call me slow and weak, but I'm quite the opposite. So, those are the poems for today. I hope you guys have an excellent day. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. Again, if you need a Chromebook, if you need a Wi-Fi connection, those things are possible. I'm going to include information on this video and also in the Google Classroom post about this video. Hope you guys are doing well. I really, really miss you. Take care of yourselves. Have an excellent day.